Hi guys, it's Tony. Thanks for coming along. Today we're looking at Dry Grits Cheese Strength 3. This is from Sainsbury's Sweet and Nutty. Um, we'll have a quick look at the back. They're quite, they say, we'll, if you don't like it, you will, we're sure you'll love it, but if you don't, simply return it. No, I don't think there's many people will do that. There's some of the fat values guys in there, if you want to pause this video. Let's just take a look. I know not a lot, a lot of uh, people now are shopping online, so it's good to see this in a naked form. This is actually made and packaged in Italy. Um, so there's two forms, the sprinkle and then there's the pour. Yeah, I'll just pour it on because I'm a man. Uh, basically on the spag bowl. Now, a couple of things I've noticed about this. You can take a look at the cheese itself. It is very mild. It's not... It's very bland. I wouldn't say there's that much taste in it. I think you're going to need to go to a level five just to get that uh, grated cheese, that, that Italian cheese flavour. Because I think that is just, it, it just doesn't have the taste to it. Um, I mean, it's not a bad size, you know. It's, it, it probably last 80 grams. It last a uh, few meals, I don't know. Depends on how much you, you like to shot over your <laughs> spag bowl. But if it had been more tasty, if it had had some more flavour, it's is sweet and nutty, but it's not sweet really, and it ain't nutty, it's just bland. Uh, it's not bad, all due. So I, I think I'll give it like a 4 out of 10. If it had a bit more flavour, yeah. But uh, yeah, go for the 5, guys. You won't regret that. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye for now.